30 yards. Just about got it filled to the top. There's a lot, a lot of manual labor went into this. For some reason, bees, hornets, are very interested in this pile of debris. Well, a little bit of time has passed. I'm not sure when the last time I turned this camera on. As you can see, yes, I think I did record something about the the wood stove's gone. Uh, the radiators are gone. The dumpster's gone. Uh, this wall is in. And I, I was racing against time. We just had a monsoon blow through, lightning, thunder, and I knew it was coming this evening, and I knew it was coming from that way. So that's why I did this wall first. So this is an interesting wall, uh, se semi-supported. <laughs> That's a double 2x6, uh, full length 2x6. There's no splices in there. So I'll kind of give you an update on the plan that I'm going to start in the morning. As you can see, there's a, a, a garden right there out the window. They need to keep this garden. It's, it's kind of screwy. But we're going to figure it out. I'm going to cut half this wall out at a time. So I will put in another brace from underneath this little stud here up to there and then I will cut this whole half out. Well, there's nothing over there, but I'll cut. It's basically two studs and this, this bottom mess here. And we will see what the heck is behind this. Now the lower half, what am I going to use behind this cement rock garden? What's down in there? For this being made in the, could be late 40s, early 50s, the only water staining in this entire wall is that right there. I can't believe how well this is held up. It has lasted longer than it was supposed to. This video is sponsored by Policy Genius. A lot of you know I take my finances, my business, and making money very serious. That's because I have a large financial responsibility. Not just to feed my family, but to make sure they have the best start in life. Policy Genius is an online marketplace to shop for life insurance. Getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash handyman. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. In minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need, compare personalized quotes, and find your best price. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Head to policygenius.com slash handyman to get started right now. Okay. So this here, it can go. How is this thing built? See some big rocks in there and gravel. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Looks like this is a pour here. Like there's like a little slab there, three and a half, four inch slab that goes across. Then they poured the back. Now I don't know how this uh, com this is sealed up in here. I don't know if there's plastic in there, if there's tar in there. September 22nd, this is 1978. Friday, September 22nd, 1978. At least this part here, this grout or mortar that they put in here to get the slope away from the house was put in in 1978. Let's keep on working, brainstorming. Well, I'm going to do some excavating. i got to clean all that out and see what I find in there. 
So what I'm thinking is we put some cement board as a barrier that goes down over this lip and basically keeps all that from falling in to the other cement board. The first layer of sheathing is going to be 36 inches of that cement board. 100% waterproof, will never rot. So up 36 inches is gonna get us well above here is gonna be cement board. And I may do double, double layer cement board. One that goes down over this lip here. So if this stuff over the years starts falling in, it's just gonna fall in to the first layer of cement board that is over this lip here. For those of you who are curious, the layout, how I'm gonna get a bathroom in here. This is the bathroom. Right here, pocket door. Go in. Right above the pump is your vanity, mirror, medicine cabinet on this wall that's recessed in. You get a 36 by 50 something uh, shower. Nice big shower, slide it open, go in. I think I'm gonna put the shower head on the exterior wall. I'll probably have to do something with the insulation. I may build a second wall in front of this wall. So you have insulated wall here and then you have the wall that holds your plumbing. I believe I'm shooting for I'm shooting for a 48 inch shower door, sliding shower door. There's a 52 incher that is interesting to me. Um, I have right now 56 inches. You want the door that opens the sliding part to be opposite the shower head. Some people put it right underneath the shower head, but um, my research says that if the shower head's here. The door is going to go here and this is where the door has to go because this is the toilet right there let's get back out of the out of the bathroom remember pocket door here now where is the closet now we have a, a nice walk-in closet right here this door is going to swing in I thought about doing a pocket door but this is going to be all tile and i don't want a flexible floppy wall for the pocket door still still looking into that though could things could change but as of right now the door opens in and you have uh, 48 inches by eight feet by at the top there it's probably 10 feet so there'll be shelves above the door across the whole back wall um, you'll have two eight foot runs of hanging so i'll give you 16 feet to hang your clothes put a whole nother dresser in here you can put shelves on this wall you could continue some hanging this way maybe this will be where they want long clothes to hang not sure so how how big is this room how does it fit a king size bed so this is a king size bed from the chimney out is 90 inches they're only 80 inches, but I just said, okay, I'm gonna lay this out at 90 inches, to give yourself some headboard, footboard room. It may be a little bit longer, but 
the mattress size is 76 by 80. So 76 wide. You've got uh, 46, 44 inches here. All the way around, you're still maintaining that 40. This From this corner to this corner might go down to 40. From here to this wall is about seven and a half feet. May not look like it, but you got lots of tons of room on this side. You could put another dresser there, tuck a dresser up here. Um, still plenty of room for nightstands on either side. And over here, you're still maintaining 46 inches from the edge of the, the bed to the wall. And then you got your two, two windows. There may be something coming where I have to put a window in this wall. I'm not sure where I would put it. Would I put it in the shower or would I put it over the toilet? Put it over the toilet, it gets real close to the, the wall that goes out there. So I'm not sure a, a window is gonna work in this wall. We will have a, a vent though that goes out. Uh, now lighting. How much, how much light do you need in, in a bedroom? There's some lots of discussion going on. We're thinking two recess lights, one over the bed, one on the other side of this beam here, and possibly a ceiling fan. Why a ceiling fan? Because the ceilings are pretty high and you can have heat built up in there. I'm not sure. Kind of where this outlet is right there would be where the ceiling fan would go. Um, lights we're still not sure which way the door is going to swing is it going to outswing that is not the common way or is it going to in swing this way we'd want it to go against this wall don't want it to go this way because there may be a nightstand or something over here all right that's the uh the update on the layout again things could change drywall all the way across drywall everywhere then maybe some faux wood beams in like a phase two type thing. These windows there and over there have to get covered up. But right now I'm gonna finish, finish this wall here. Gotta put the OSB up, 